three, two, one. And my foot was just like dangling. Oh, this you crazy mother. Yo! Hey, lady. You don't have OCD. You forgot your spaghetti. You have OBCD. Okay, thank you. I didn't know my psychiatrist was on here. I'm Ashley's darling. That should be my middle name. Amberlynn Hungry Reed. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel so disconnected. She was like, you're healthy. So much care. But you are obese. Mm -hmm. Hello? Is anyone bad? I don't think I'll be the same for a long time. Like truly a long time because I had a future planned and I was happy and I was so happy and so loved and now we aren't together anymore because like her mental health comes first and her safety comes first are you drunk no no it's more like a tipsy type of era slash um i'm losing my mind maybe a little bit say you <laughs> hold on a second <laughs> are you good over there are you good? <laughs> yeah. So you're good. Ozempic. I'm not on it anymore type deal type, but it's like, I will retry it. Like, let's retry it. Who cares? You know? Um, <laughs> why am I so, am I talking to Twinkie? <laughs> yeah. Twinkie's my um, new support animal. <laughs> Emotional support animal. Okay. Screw the haters. Live your life. I'm about to. I'm about to. Okay. We, we need to have like a. Are you sure type deal? Okay. As you guys knew, <laughs> <laughs> let Tommy talk to us type deal type sitch. Um, I'm in love type deal. I really am. And I am with Tommy still. Not like physically, which is unfortunate because trust, I would love that. But um, we are still together. There's a lot of things that like aren't true that are being said. And I know a lot of people are going to be like upset. Like it is what it is. I like was trying really hard to like protect her obviously and just like protect us. And I feel like that's people could say I'm always in love. It's fine. Like I just, I love love. Uh, okay. We don't, you can ignore the part where I said I'm in love. Just ignore that part. Just know that like, I am still with Tommy and there, there's just been a lot of things that like aren't true that have been said and I just want to be the one to like set it straight because I feel like that's important. A lot of people aren't gonna believe a word that I say and that's fine. Like I fully get it. People will believe what they want to believe and I'm not gonna lie to you. Like we were, we were gonna break up. Without a doubt, that was going to happen. We genuinely make each other happy. Um, so it's like, why break up when you're when you genuinely like love someone? You need to stop worrying about what others think and do you live your life because the haters just want you miserable. Do what makes you happy, you grown woman. Yes, I fully am in support of that. I'm going to do what I want. I genuinely want to do what I want. But like, I want to like shout it to the rooftops that like I genuinely am happy with Tommy. The rumors are not true at all. And I promise I'm not like in danger. That's not a thing. You guys know that like I have been trying to lose weight and I actually have been. Like I weighed my lowest that I've weighed in like eight years. 467, folks. I, I literally was like, okay, like pop off. Which rumors are not true. Tommy is not a feeder at all. And I got permission to share like why certain photos were online so when Tommy was with her late fiance they were long distance and they wanted to see each other more often and to do so they found a way to like make money it was never like out of like a like ill intent type of thing um and I know a lot of people are going to think that and still continue to assume that and that's I, I can't change anyone's opinion I can only sit here and tell you the truth it was just a way for them to make money. It wasn't something they did in their like alone time. Like if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, <laughs> sorry. I'm laughing because I'm nervous. 
No, I didn't lie. Like we genuinely were going to break up. Like that was like the truth. Um, it felt really heavy and scary for the both of us. Um, it's just been a hard time. Like for people to be saying that Tommy is a person that like, she's literally not that person. She's one of the greatest people I've ever known. And I will stand by that. Like I genuinely have never felt so like loved and comfortable with someone ever, ever. I'm happy. And I have never felt so like seen by somebody. I want to be able to like stick up for her and stick up for like our love because it's important to me. And you guys don't have to believe anything that I'm saying, which is fine, but like, I'm happy. And I have never felt so like seen by somebody and it just feels really good. <clears throat> for so long, I felt like I was with people who were like ashamed of me and like hiding me. And it did not feel good at all. Who specifically do you feel was hiding you? Well, obviously Erica, hi. Erica, when she was planning on moving here, she had this whole spiel that she was gonna be in like my YouTube videos and all of it. And it's like, looking back now, I'm like, were you really? Like, is that another lie? Probably. Like, I don't want to bring up, like, names and stuff, but there is, you know, a relationship that I also recently had where we didn't go really do anything together. And I very much felt like maybe there was some sort of, like, being ashamed.com up in there. And when Tommy was here, like, we went places constantly and we did things. And I don't think I've moved that much, like, in forever. Um, my mom got COVID, so she unfortunately didn't get to meet Tommy, but it was like the cutest thing. Tommy was like, we should like go get her like a, um, is it like a care package? I don't really know what the word for it. So we went and we made like this care package for her and it was just like the sweetest thing. So we went to my mom's apartment and I like, I'm so scared of COVID. So I was like, Tommy, will you like get out and like knock on my mom's door for me? Because I'm like way like too scared. So she did it. And then we were able to park in a spot where my mom could like still see me like in the Jeep. And my mom was so freaking happy. And, um, like she saw, like, so did my stepdad. I call him my stepdad because they're literally gonna get married one day. So like, that's my stepdad. Like, I love him so much. So, um, they saw us and they were like, they literally both can't stop smiling and laughing. Like that is literally the energy that me and Tommy have when we're together. Like, why are all your girlfriends off of Instagram? Tommy's not actually off of Instagram. The first time Tommy ever messaged me was June 18th. Literally so recent. I knew. Um, and I literally have proof of that. Like we met on the good old TikTok. Um, she messaged me. I replied to her and we just hit it off like literally instantly. And then we moved on to, um, cause I'm like a shy girly. So I didn't want to do like phone calls. I didn't want to like give out my number. So I was okay with like moving on to Instagram. So I was like, here's my Instagram. Let's talk on there because I don't really like do the whole TikTok bit. And she like, we had a really good conversation. Like she actually could hold a conversation like with paragraphs and like engage in what I was saying. And it's like, it's hard to find people who actually want to like genuinely like have a discussion with you. And it's not just constantly like, what's up? Like, how you do it? Like, no, it was like really in depth. And that's a turn on for me. Like if you can hold a conversation, we moved on to Snapchat where we sent videos of us just like talking so much. It was like FaceTime, but like with a lot of weird pauses in between. <laughs> but um, yeah, and we just got to know each other that way for a bit. And then um, eventually I was like, you know what? Here's my phone number type deal. So then we moved on to that. And then I remember one day I was like, okay, in the middle of literally just like, we had each other's number, but we were like snapping. And I was like, you know, it's kind of weird that you've never like called me before. <laughs> and she ends up calling me. So Beluga, yeah, I don't care. Like I literally, like I, like, I, <laughs> like I don't care because I genuinely feel like people are allowed to like flirt around, talk around, like do their thing. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Like anything that she did prior to us talking about, like I don't care. Um, I got in the stream late. Are you and Tommy still together? Yes. Like we did have a moment where there was like a breakup thing that was rumbling and I saw it and I genuinely thought that was going to happen. And I was like, you guys won. Like I, like that's how I felt it like down to my core. And then we realized like, that's not fair to us because we know the truth. Like that's not fair at all. You know, um, are you sure love bomb? Correct. I, I know what that means. And that is not that a love bomber is Erica. Just saying, I don't mean to like throw shade, but let's be so fucking for real right now. Um, can she prove the post work for money only? Yeah, like she has proved that to me. Trust me, you guys, I would never be with someone who wanted me to get bigger. If you guys have watched my YouTube long enough, then you fucking know that. You guys know that I have struggled with my weight on the constant. And I'm finally on a path where I'm losing weight. Like she has been in my life since June 18th and I've lost weight. You know, I'm so happy for your happiness, but scared for you. I get it. Because when you see things online, you're like, whoa, this is crazy. 
And when reaction channels take that information and they fill in the holes themselves, it becomes a little, it becomes a lot. And you start to believe what you're seeing. And I get it. Even before I met Tommy, like I was talking to my mom about quitting semaglutide because it wasn't working. I had literally doubled the dose like I was supposed to, and it was not working for me. And I was like, this isn't working. And my mom's like, give it another week. So I was like, fuck, fine. Uh. And then I met Tommy. We started talking. She even told me, just keep going. Sometimes you have times where it just doesn't work because she actually knows someone who's also on it. And she was so supportive of me being on it. And she would constantly ask like how I was feeling and like this and that, like she was a hundred percent supportive and she's a hundred percent supportive of me losing weight. She wants me healthy. She wants me mobile. She wants me happy. And she wants to have a life with me. She wants to go out and do things with me. Like, I mean, that says a lot folks. I got to say, so you can't stick to anything. It's all it is. Exactly. It's exactly. It's literally me folks. Like you guys know that you guys know that it's literally me. It's always been me. Like, and now all of a sudden you're going to blame someone else. It's just like, no, blame me. Someone said it's Becky's fault. <sighs> that, that's going to be a forever meme. I feel like you seem a lot happier today. Yeah. Because I just, I want this lifted off of my shoulders, like genuinely, like it's been so heavy and it's just, it hasn't been fair. It's been like, you look sweaty. I have no sweat on me right now. Uh, stop coming for me. Like I am literally dry. I'm a dry girl. <laughs> As you guys know, <laughs> everyone's timeline is different. I'm not here to like ever like judge someone based on that. Um, I don't know. You know, I'm drinking um, Seagram's. Am I leaving YouTube? <clears throat> I think if people stop being so hectic, I will stay. Now is a perfect time to press the restart button and have a fresh start in relationship with your fans. I would love that. Like literally would love that. Why are people so mean to you? It makes me sad because I'm fat. <laughs> it's just easy to be like mean to a fat person girl you're you are tough as nails oh thank you I thought you were saying my nails were tough and I was like I need to get them done for real for real like that is so true I'm trying to think if I want to get like fake nails this go around like have them long <laughs> sorry real type stitch um your personality is different than yesterday now that everything's out open y'all literally came for me you're like you bought that moon thing you bought that lego thing y'all Erica was real and she literally loved me and it's fucked up. She lied to me, lied to her wife, like the whole nine. It's not okay. Like stop yapping and just eat your feelings. See, that's very feeder coded. I think you might need to look in the mirror actually. So you are the queen. Thank you. <gasps> I should be wearing my crown type deal, but it's in my closet. I'm not going to go get that. I'm not smug. I don't know what that means. Alex Alex <laughs> Alexa, Alexa, what does smug mean? Smug is an adjective that describes someone who is self-satisfied, complacent, or correct. Mm. Something that usually hurts or is not warranted. Mm. Okay. Maybe sometimes. Someone said be smug. Who cares? Literally. Like, that's not going to hurt nobody. I'm also Delulu. I'm also, like, fat. I'm also, like, narcissistic. Like, I'm all the bad things. It's fine. Just come, like, come for me. It's fine. Like, I will be fine. Um, hashtag Erica sucks. I'm actually. Can we do, like, hash? No, never mind. Fingerlin is real. You can ask Tommy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, someone just mentioned 2,400. I'm still trying to figure that out. I'm still trying to figure that out. That's a lot. And if they're trying to have me sit there and pay for like the gifts that was sent to me, they have another thing coming. They have another thing coming. But they can never call you ugly. Send them Strawberry Hill. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Strawberry Hill is like, you'd have to understand the lore. I'll explain it later. But yes, I'll send them Strawberry Hill. This must be Alexis's personality. Nate, hold on. I need to tell my friend that I'm actually, I know that's the point. Maybe that's the point. Oh, someone said baby who? Did I say baby? I'm sorry. That's, <laughs> Amber, come on dog, please be single. I'm sorry, Brie. Mm -mm. Like I'm so, I just finally, I, I wow. Like I literally, no, I shouldn't be TMI. I'm not gonna be TMI. I'll calm down. I'm not gonna be hectic. How did I change from rage? <laughs> I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. Can I send you a set of custom nails? We need Miss Acrylic Lynn in the mix. I would love that more than anything, but a few things. I don't have a PO box anymore. Two, I probably shouldn't have long fake nails because, you know, you just have to be kind of careful. I'm sorry, but that's funny. What flavor am I type deal? 
What flavor am I? You have three bodies in one year. Too much casual sex. I am, well, no. I've had phone sex with a few, with a few people. I'm not gonna lie. In the last year, I've had phone sex with a few people, but I've only had real sex with one. I'm not, am I a pillow princess? No, I actually have confirmation that I'm not. If someone held a gun to my head and said for the rest of your life, you either give or receive, which one are you choosing? I would choose give. Why? You would choose that too, huh? I know. It's fine. You can give it to me. Give it to me, baby. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. You're saying it because you're so quirky and not a 33-year-old with a 14-year-old's brain. Trauma. This isn't a scandal. I'm in a relationship and I'm happy. That's not a scandal. Is that a scandal type deal? Are you okay type deal? Yeah. Yeah. I love you type deal. Mm. Um, why? <laughs> oh, never mind. I'm just gonna sit here with my pee and my bladder. <laughs> Who's Buzz McAllister? Who's that again? Oh, does Erica look like Buzz? I know a different version of Erica than you guys have seen. You guys have just seen like phototype deals. Um, I would say, yeah, I get it. It's a little bit. I am. Um, why are we talking about this? <laughs> um, when are you making your Phoebe girly pop? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Wait, that sounds familiar. Oh, no. You guys, stop. What the hell? Are you going to be fingerlin after this live? <laughs> I wish. Holy hot damn diggity. I would do anything for that. She chose Beluga first, but got rejected, so went to you. No. And I don't care. One day I'm going to be a sexy wife, I hope. <sighs> You guys, I jumped. I fucking straight up jumped. I was, I was shook. So I went to like a bar type deal. And you guys are going to think that I drink a lot. I don't, I promise. But I went to a bar and I like jumped. It's because I haven't been able to jump. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. And then I just did. Um, The way we know, Katrina Kaboom is watching obsessively. I mean, I don't think that's her name, but yeah, she probably is. Like she's obsessed with me type deal. I pay her rent. I love that. You guys are everything. Who's babe? Tommy is babe. Is that a hickey? No. Where? I wish. So yeah, I'm in love. I don't know. Brittany's supposed to make like a, like a video type deal. And it's like, I feel bad for her type deal because like I hurt her too in this whole situation. And, but it's also at the same time, it's like, why are you allowing Erica to talk mad shit about my ex? Like, it's not okay. I am not moving. I mean, I don't know when I am, but I'm definitely not anytime soon, which, you know, that's really sad. Actually. I love these lives. Me too. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, babe. Who thinks she will oh, love the confidence that looks good on you? Thank you. I'm literally so confident. I don't give a fuck. Like, I literally don't. I'm I'm a changed woman. What can I say? Do you guys see the little scar type deal? I'm really self-conscious about it. Anyways. Um. <laughs> babe. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. I miss you type deal. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> wait, I was on live. Okay. Do you have roast beef or a coin slot? What is happening? What does that mean? I'm Tommy's girl. That is a thing. I'm, oh, can I change my username? Do you want me to type deal? Ye, if Instagram allows, can. How long have you been growing your hair? My whole life it's been growing from my head. Not a feeder, not a feedy. That's all rumors. The whole thing with Erica and I, like that was always there. Like finding out that she was married for real, for legitness. I was like, anyone's going to hate that. Like anyone is going to hate that. And it just sucked. Okay, maybe I am a little drunk. <laughs> oh my God, Amber's going to get freaky on FaceTime after live. How'd you guys know? I really hope so. I'm joking. I'm, just... <gasps> I'm not gonna lie to you. Erica was at the fucking Mo's, right? Multiple times. And that's what she would always get was the home record Rio. That's a true story. And now I'm starting to see things more clearly. What a little, ooh, why I oughta. Someone was asking like how she paid for the Jeep because it's been a long time since, or like months since she's had to like 
travel like that. So she, obviously she has money like saved up and stuff. And it was just one trip, literally just one versus like multiple. You could, you could feel the genuine connection through the screen. Oh my God. You have no idea. Like it was like, is this like magic? Like I was, I'm telling you guys it was on fire. Like it was great. So <gasps> did you smash in the rental Jeep or not? Um, <laughs> that's a lot. That's hectic. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. That would have been fun though. What did you have? Like, are you joking? Maybe if it was a bus. Okay. Why do we fat shame? <laughs> like I, I fully support, like I, I fuck with reaction channels. I fully support, like make your bag react to me. Bed bound. No, I, my stamina has improved so much. Like I am so like proud of myself. Like literally you're so impressed by that. I feel like I don't understand baby. Oh my God, I miss you type deal. Well, yesterday someone DM Tommy slash Emily on Instagram and noticed that she started following Valentine slash Erica's wife, Brittany, to which Tommy replied, I'm trying to get a hold of her to see how long Erica was talking with Amber while Amber and I were together. So based on their attitude towards each other tonight, either Tommy no longer cares to figure out the timeline or Amber doesn't know about these messages. So what do you think about Amber staying with Tommy? Are you afraid for her future or have you fully given up on any hope now? Do you believe Amber's story that Tommy just did the feeder feedy thing for money? Let me know down below and I'll see you in the next one.